Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about Kohabi algorithm. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So as already we know that the path sensitization method and boolean difference method become practically infeasible for multiple faults. This is because both methods consider one fault at a time. So for example, within a circuit, the total number of states to be tested in a circuit with n lines becomes 3 to the power of n minus 1 if multiple faults are allowed. So that is why to overcome this problem, Kohavi and Kohavi in the year 1972, they proposed one method. So this method overcomes the difficulty for multiple faults in the two level networks. For determining of these two tests, that is nothing but A test and B test, the Kohavi and Kohavi have put three severe restrictions on the networks. That is, we have to follow these three restrictions. First one is that the network must be two level end or 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 end network. And second one is that each end gate must be realize a prime cube. And third one is the end or network must implement a boolean function which is a sum of irredundant prime implicants. That is, there is no redundant Im prime implicant within a boolean function. That is, within the boolean function, there is no repeated prime implicants. So that is the meaning of here, irredundant prime implicants. So by following these three restrictions, we can find out that two sets of tests, that is A test and B test. Now consider one example to understand very easily here I am taking a, a simple end or a circuit. So here this is the end gate and this is the R gate. For the end gate we are giving that inputs x1 x2 dash and for other end gate here I am giving x3 and x4. So x1 x2 dash plus x3 x4. So because here we are using this uh, R gate so the function f is represented as x1 x2 dash plus x3 x4. So for this uh, boolean function we have to find out that A test and B test. So let us discuss the algorithm for two level and R circuit. So as we discussed each end gate of the circuit realizes an irredundant prime implicant. So here within this function x1 x2 dash it is a, a prime implicant and x3 x4 is also a, a prime implicant. So the inputs which are given to this end gate we have to consider it is a irredundant prime implicant. So thus the output function of the circuit can be expressed as a sum of irredundant prime implicants or cubes. That is this prime cube is not repeated in anywhere within this boolean function. So those prime implicants are called as irredundant prime implicants. So now we will find out the stuck at zero fault within the circuit. So the set of mean terms the test each end gate for stuck at zero faults is called the set of A tests. That is, this A tests are used for find outing that stuck at zero faults. So consider a stuck at zero fault on any of the inputs of the end gates. So the effect of this fault on the output function is the elimination of the prime implicant realized by this end gate. That is here, if there is a stuck at zero fault at any one of the input of this end gate, that is, if there is any stuck at fault uh, on any one of the input of this end gate here, simply that prime implicant will be eliminated. So for example, here x2 dash is there stuck at zero fault, then this prime implicant will be eliminated. So we have the only the test set will be f equal to x3, x4. So like this, we can eliminate this prime implicant. So by that, we will get that a test set by using that A test set, we can find out that stuck at zero fault. So for this problem, here the A test set is a X3 and X4. So this is the prime implicant which is used for find outing that stuck at zero faults. So here the boolean function f is given as f equal to x1 x2 dash plus x3 x4. So there is a product term here x1 dot x2 dash plus x3 dot x4 here. So because this is an end gate, here we have end gate these two terms are added so for that we are using this R gate. So for example consider a, a stuck at zero fault on any one of the input of this end gate. 
so the effect of this fault on the output function is the elimination of the prime implicant realized by the AND gate for example there is a stuck at zero fault at x2 dash then the product of this x1 dot x2 dash become zero there is nothing but the prime implicant x1 x2 dash will be eliminated so the test set for find outing the stuck at zero fault is given as x3 x4 and we can consider for example there is a stuck at zero fault at x3 for example then the product x3 x4 will becomes zero so that the test set for find outing the stuck at zero fault at x3 is given as x1 x2 dash so like that we can find out the stuck at zero fault on any one of the input of that and gates and next we will find out that b test so the b test is used for find outing the stuck at one fault so here already we know that the boolean function f equal is given as x1 x2 dash plus x3 x4 so x1 is nothing but 1 and x2 dash is nothing but a 0 and here x3 is 1 and x4 is also 1 so we will represent in the form of a k map so x1 x2 dash is nothing but x1 is that 1 and x2 is 0 so here we will get that 1 0 so from this we will get a, a cube that is x1 x2 dash that equal to 1 0 double 2 and at the same time we have another prime implicant is there that is x3 x4 so this can be represented as here 1 1 so x3 and x4 so this is a a prime implicant double 2 1 1 so these are the cubes which are represented by using that boolean function f so when there is a stuck at fault for example at x2 dash for example then this x2 dash becomes to 1 because there is a stuck at 1 fault then the product x1 x2 dash becomes to x1 simply because here x1 x2 dash this x2 dash becomes to 1 then x1 dot 1 is nothing but x1 so here when the stuck at fault at x2 dash then the product term will be becomes to x1 so when you are representing this x1 in the k map in the form of a cube then that will be becomes to 1 double 2 2 so the cube here expanded to 1 0 double 2 to 1 2 2 2 so here the x1 cube is represented like this in the k map so thus the fault can be detected by choosing as a test vector a mean term that is in the sub cube that is 1 1 2 2 which is adjacent to that original cube so here we have to consider a test vector that is the b test which gives that the stuck at one fault by the cube that is double one double two that is here this x2 dash becomes to stuck at one fault so we can give that as double one double two which is adjacent to this x1 x2 dash cube so the adjacent cube of the prime implicant which can represent that b test so by using this b test we can find out that stuck at one false so to test an stuck at one fault in any input of an AND gate it is necessary to select a test mean term in each of the adjacent subcubes of the prime implicant realized by that AND gate the set of uh, all such mean terms constitutes the set of b tests that is here within this problem we have to consider a sub cube which is adjacent to this prime implicant or main sub cube so here this is the uh, this is the cube which is given as x1 x2 dash so the adjacent sub cube we have to consider it as a a b test set so which is used for find outing that stuck at one fault so this is about that Kohavi algorithm. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends.